everybody, it's Christine. It's time for a process video and I'm tying this into the counterfeit kit challenge blog, challenge number two, which is lace it up. Um, so basically, this, she, the, she, the inspiration from the master forger was the sneaker. She says that sneakers are just really cute. That reminds me of one of my daughter's obsession with Converse high tops. She had several different pairs. For this challenge, I'd love to see something laced on your layout or card or paper crafting. Think inside and outside the box. Okay, so here's my challenge, y'all. I didn't put any twine or thread or anything in my kit. And I contemplated getting it and just saying, okay, that is what it is. But then I thought to myself, no, let's be a little bit creative, right? So I think what I'm gonna actually do is lace paper, okay? Um, so the picture I've got to work with is this uh, picture of my daughter and my husband. They're on a whitewater rafting thing um, in uh, Montana, looks like. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use, I've got these three right here with this yellow. This is of course from the Inspired Color Palette. I really need to use this darn pom-pom frame. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have it do something like this. I need to mat the photo and stuff like that. I may actually cheat just a tad though because I do have this, um, it's called Bucket List by Reminisce. And again, I don't really know the age of this thing, but it's got all these little things that you might consider like bucket list items, right? And I have this one that says go whitewater rafting. So I kind of want to use this because I don't really have, you know, these are bucket list items. So how often do you do a bucket list item, right? So I don't know that I'll have any more pictures ever again of whitewater rafting. So I have to, I think I'm going to cheat and put this on here somewhere. I haven't figured out where, but um, that's where I'm starting. So I think I'm going to actually trim this green. I think it's going to be the green that I lace. I contemplated using two colors and I may still do that. I just haven't figured out yet if I want to for sure, for sure. So I'm gonna trim these, I think in little like half inch slit slices and kind of basket weave them on the page some kind of way. Um, Cause I like it, it goes with this green in the water. And then I have of course this color, which I think kind of looks rock, like the rockish. And then I've got the blue and then this yellow. I've contemplated on this yellow just a little bit, but I do like that it kind of the yellow railing and stuff like that. So. I think these are the papers I'm gonna use, but let me trim these. I need to map my photo, kind of get myself organized here and I'll come back on. All right, talk soon. Okay guys, quick check-in. What I have done so far is um, I've got this yellow piece here, which was a Bow Bunny double dot. And I've got my blue paper down. I had did trim that a mm, half inch, I guess. And then I've got my little kind of neutral matte paper going down here. I'm gonna glue that there. And then I'm thinking these are going to be my photo mats. So I just started kind of working with this because I wanted to make sure it's going to work. We'll see. I need to trim this and I think I'm going to scuff the edges of that. And then I got my little frame here. I think I'm going to put it something like that. I have trimmed this out. I got to figure out what I'm going to do here because I thought about putting it in here, but that's going to look a little, maybe a little weird. I don't know, unless I, I may make this into a tag or something. Um, kind of what I'm thinking. I got to figure that out yet still. But I do have my little papers here I started trimming to do my lacing. So I still have to, I'm, I'm gonna glue all this stuff down and then I'll start kind of weaving this. And then I kind of accidentally flipped one over and I thought, well, maybe that does look kind of cool like that. I may actually um, alternate these things here. So I uh, just wanted to check in real quick. I'm gonna start gluing these base pieces down and then I'll turn the camera on when I start weaving and stuff like that. All right, talk soon. Okay, gang, so I have I think I had glued everything down before, to be honest with you, but I glued all the things down, and now I'm going to start doing this little weaving thing, and actually, I'm going to use the term lacing, since technically that's the challenge, is to lace things, um, I, and, and y'all, I kind of feel bad, because I didn't do the, like, a shoelace or anything like that. I thought about using, like, you know, twine and using strings to lace, and I said, well, I didn't put that in my kit. Y'all, I still end up pulling out twine. I just can't help it. <laughs> You'll see in a minute why, but anyways... For the moment, I'm just kind of making this little uh, laced set of papers here, and I don't know why I struggle. This is, again, this is another one of them things I think this is should have been a kindergarten craft, and I just struggle with the over-under deal, but I end up, you know, I, I just do over-under with my little basket weaving here, and and it looks pretty cool, actually. I'm, act, I'm actually not even sad about it. It's not a technique I, I hardly ever do. If, if I've done it, I don't remember the last time I did it. And it's not like, again, it's hard, really. It's just a matter of getting your stuff all organized and going over and under and all that. But I find it, um, I was kind of pleased that I was able to use the backside with the colors. If I think I showed it in my reveal, but this, this sheet had like little two-inch squares of different patterns and stuff. And the patterns themselves, um, they were a little travel-y. I don't think it would have worked with this layout the way it, it, the way it was. But when you cut it up and everything, it just kind of gives you this cool, like, color 
stripey looking stuff. And I think that actually worked really well. I was kind of pleased with it. So I end up making this like L design, but of course it's in the upper right corner. If I'm honest, I don't show y'all this. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the camera in a second. Cause I do go ahead and glue down the little uh, pieces of paper. Um, and while I'm doing that, I actually contemplate flipping it and putting it in the lower left. I even kind of start organizing my pictures and stuff thinking, well, maybe I'll go ahead and, um, you know, rotate this thing. But I ultimately decide not to. I decide I actually end up liking this and you'll see kind of maybe why in a minute. I end up with my title and stuff up there and I was really pleased with that. So I got this little bit of double-sided tape. I'm just trying to kind of keep it like in its spot. I'm not terribly precious about it being even or even particularly straight necessarily. I just kind of want it to look a little bit, you know, natural or, or uh, organic in a way. So, and I haven't even trimmed them yet because I will tear the ends once I get this stuff kind of glued down. And I don't glue them down like the whole way. I just kind of use a little bit of glue. Um, I do kind of at this, this center piece here, and then I'll put a little bit of glue on the ends when I'm kind of straightening them. I do straighten them a little bit. I mean, they don't might stay real crooked, but I don't really try to like, I don't use a T-square or anything like that. I keep a little bit, like I said, organic. So at this point, I've glued them all down and I've torn the ends and I've actually decided I need to put my phone uh, or the picture up on phone because that little pom-pom frame, frame, which by golly, y'all, I have pulled that thing out. I mentioned in the, my little reveal, I pulled that thing out several times for several different layouts. It never used it. And I'm thinking, dead gummit, I'm using it on this layout. <laughs> and I did. Um, I did have to put two layers of foam behind my picture because that little frame is pretty, pretty, pretty thick. Um, and I wanted it under the picture. So I ended up putting two layers of foam on the picture. And then I have to come in on this little corner here and kind of add, you know, kind of puzzle piece some foam together. But that was okay. You can't tell, obviously, once you're done with the layout. Anyways, I... Um, I did get my little picture frame on there. So I got all my stuff kind of glued down. And like I said, I did kind of tear the edges. And I kind of curled them up just a little bit. I didn't go crazy, but I'd curl them up a little bit. And then I did end up turning that Go Whitewater Rafting into a tag. I used my little We Are Memory Keepers to poke a little hole and cut my little corners there to make my tag. And I pulled out these labels. Uh, if you remember in the Inspiration Kit, there was like labels in the, I think it was digital stickers. There was little labels. So I decided to pull out one of these labels. It's got the green edge there. I did that to ground it. I thought the tag looked a little strange just floating by itself. So I thought, okay, I'll use that. And then I used that round one up there. And I'm going to start putting my, I start now I'm going to go into my chipboard. I do really enjoy this chipboard set here. Um, I think I had this Jubilee collection years ago. I think it's a little bit old. And I got this at convention in like a little card making batch. And so it's kind of, it's not the whole collection. I just got like this, this chipboard deal with some other random things. And I'm enjoying the fact that I've stuck this in this little, uh, counterfeit kit because if I hadn't I'd probably be in trouble if I'm honest because all my other sticker sheets I'm not really using anything off of them except those labels there so I do find that little chipboard title that says fantastic and I love that and I'm going to find um I start pulling a few things out that I'm thinking okay maybe I can um you know use here and I find I find a, I find some buttons and I find an arrow let's see this is the first thing I find which is that little wood grain arrow I do like that I'll find a little colored button, I think, in a second. I'm, I'm kind of getting my hand stuck up in there. I don't know what I'm trying to pull out just yet, but there's a little, like, uh, button with a bunch of little colors on it. There's a little black and white button. I set it to the side. At first, I, I thought to use it, and then I thought I might not use it, but I thought to myself I might use it, so I set it to the side. I'll do that sometimes. If I'm not 100% sure, I'll kind of set it to the side thinking maybe I'll use it. I even set that little thing there. I think this is one of my favorites. I don't actually end up using that, though. But I think pretty much everything else that I set aside, I do end up using. I do have that little yellow arrow pointing toward fantastic. I really enjoy that. And I find, like I said, there's two or three other little buttons on here. I do end up using them because I want the little round, um, the round, I'm kind of making circles, I guess is my, my point here. Um, I'll actually end up pulling the heart out too that's in the upper left, but I don't, I may do that off camera because I'll go off in a second. I, oh, I find this little thing. It says snapshot. So I love that the title ends up being fantastic snapshot, which I really love that. So this picture actually was one of, this was a tour they paid for. And so it, they're smart enough to have cameras posted somewhere <laughs> or somebody's taking it. I don't know how they got the picture taken exactly. If it's cameras, you know, sitting somewhere or if they have some people actually on the, you know, on the uh, shore taking it, but they, they're part of the package or I think she had to buy them, but I guess they're offered as part of the little tour and everything. So here's where I did cheat. I used the string. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. I had to have a string. My tag was just too naked. But you can see I've now put that lower left corner, uh, the little black and white heart. I've got two arrows now inside my little frame. In my upper right corner, I've stuck another little butter button. And I've got actually off my 
little puffy font, I put the little asterisk up there, and then I added a button down the lower right. So now I'm just showing you the slowdown so you can see all the dimension and everything. I'm really pleased with how this layout came out. Um, I was a little nervous at first when I took that floor or that pom-pom uh, frame. I was like, I'm not sure about this, but it turned out really cute. I'm happy with it. Here's the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, this was challenge number two, so there should be some other folks playing along here, and I'll put the link down below. Uh, if I can find it for sure, I should be able to. Anyway, check that out. Actually, check out the blog too, guys, and have a great day. Talk soon. Bye-bye.